You don't need no one to find me. Only you feel like my body. Give me all you need. 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 Sorry but not sorry, I've been playing that song on repeat like over and over and over and over again. Like I love that song. One day I'll be singing it to someone. You know, it's hard out here for the singles, but we keeping it strong. I can't get it out of my mind. Wow. <laughs> I think about the girl all the time. Hey guys, it's Navdeen. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I do perfume related videos and I do hauls. Today is a perfume video and I'm literally just going to show you guys the new perfumes that I've added to my perfume collection. I've kind of slowed down on like how often I've been purchasing perfumes. Like unless it really grabs me, I'm not getting it because then everything starts to smell similar. So normally, obviously, you don't see all of them until the end. Like they're like, we tend to hide them. I don't know why. <laughs> like it's just fun. But I'm just going to show you all of them really quickly. These are my new ones and then I'm just going to run through them briefly. I don't know why today. I just felt like showing them. I think I just want to look at all the bottles while I talk about them. I think this is for me and not for you. Oh, I'm missing one. Hold on. Um, if the lighting just shifted, yeah, because now I don't feel like I look orange, but I feel like it went super bright. Do I like it this bright? Do I like it? Do I like it? Am I gonna continue? Yeah, we'll continue. Do I turn it down? Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, that did that make a difference? That did. But I don't like it. Okay, we're gonna go back right. We're just gonna roll with it. We're just gonna roll with it. God damn it. Okay. The first thing I'll, I'll start off with is this oil, actually, then. Um, and then going to the perfumes because it's obviously um, Baccarat Rouge Oil. Let's try and get this focusing. Okay, there we go. Baccarat Rouge 540, and I got it in the oil. Um, to be honest, I could have gotten the actual perfume for just. How much? Uh, 30 pounds more. It wouldn't have been the big size like this. It would have been the 35 mil. And I could have just paid 30 pounds more and got that. Because I don't have the perfume, but I like it. But for now, I wanted something that when I want to go to bed and I don't want to wear perfume, I can put on something that feels a little bit bougie. I might buy the Chanel, the Coco Mad Oil as well. But then that comes in a plastic thing. It doesn't come in a um, glass bottle that yeah that's not gonna make me feel bougie so yeah that's why i bought this okay and then i regretted it um like just the other day i tried to sell it on ebay and then i canceled it when someone messaged me and asked me how low would i go for it i just canceled it because i i just felt like well if they want it i want it too <laughs> is that weird i honestly think sometimes you try to sell stuff um like unless you really hate it you try to sell it and then when someone shows interest in it you're like um what is it that they're seeing that I've not seen? Let me just hang on to it for a little bit. Yeah, let me just hang on a little bit more. So it smells very fruity. This smells, um, I think very different from the perfume in, in a sense of like, it has the same vibe, like the airy kind of vibe, but this smells very fruity. I'm gonna spray it on my hand right now, actually. Yeah, very fruity, like, um, strawberries and, um, yeah, it smells like berries. So very nice. So anyone comparing like this to, well, the actual perfume Baccarat to like um, Burberry Her and stuff, I would say the oil more smells like Burberry Her because it like really smells like berries. It's so nice, but it definitely is a skin scent. So if you're looking for the magic of the perfume, I would not say to go and buy this instead of buying the perfume. Just get what you really want because you're not going to get the same effect. But I know that a lot of people layer, you know, the oils with their perfumes to give it like more projection. I don't think the actual original perfume needs that. It doesn't need help. The oil smells very fruity. And I like it. It doesn't smell like groundbreaking. It's not something that I feel like I will, will repurchase. But it's something that I like. I like that I have it. Yeah, so it does give you a little bougie feel to spray this and go to bed. But you're not going to get that same perfume vibe. But it's good for intimate moments. Like, that you can smell nice if, per, if the person comes close into your space. It's really, really nice. So that's one thing that I got. And I know that I have some perfumes waiting to open for my Christmas gifts. I shook one of the boxes, so I know. We're opening it on the 13th of January. Don't ask us. My mother has traveled and we were waiting to open them with her and our flight got canceled and we still decided to wait. If that isn't love, I don't know what is. <laughs> the next one that I bought was Tom Ford's. Ugh, just, 
gotta make it look cute. Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. The only thing the bottle looks luxe, that dark, juicy red, looking like nail polish or something. Like, it's just so nice. It's really, really nice. Um, and I was just obsessed with this. I had the little decant of it, like, in a 10 mil size, and I finished that completely. I will say the longevity is not there, and the projection is, like, only when you just spray it, you can smell it like in the air or on your clothes like it's there but if you do smell your skin you will get a little bit of the liquor that's used in it you know the notes of this has like dark cherry in the top and dark cherry in the mid as well so it's like very cherry potent and i love it it's a cherry liqueur like oh it's so nice like it smells so good that you could eat it i swear to you this is just i just love it so much i love it i love it i love it like i have there's nothing like this out there there's nothing like this i don't think anyone has done a cherry scent that is this cherry potent and like realistic like i have my misguided power babe or babe power and that smells cherry potent but it's a different thing it's fizzy this is like liquor this is your nighttime this is your daytime this is sexy and it's also like good to wear like on an intimate date because it's not loud as i said and it doesn't last long so it's not gonna like annoy either of you guys so I love, I love this. The next thing that I added to my perfume collection was this. Let me just wipe it off. There we go. That is Killian. I don't need a prince by my side to be a princess. And you know that we just call it princess. The words in red is just what it's called for short. And it has the words all the way around the thing. Nothing on the bottom. And it just has Killian on one side of the ball. A lot of people don't like this packaging. I don't know why I think it's so cute. It's like a little trophy or something. But even like better than a little trophy. It's like more luxe than that. Um, When you take it out, it opens like that. And this is where all the perfume is. Well, obviously, it's not just in that little square. Okay, yeah. And then that's the... Per oh, my goodness. I love this as well. This is the most realistic marshmallow scent that I have smelled. Because I was on the hunt. And I'm actually... Um, on the hunt for a backup bottle because apparently they're discontinued to be fair when I did go to Killian before our second or third lockdown I can't keep count we've been going in and out um, they had everything on display but they didn't have any of these bottles and I don't know if I have to request these bottles because Killian move kind of bougie like they have like a whole bar set up as their shop it literally looked like you were going to choose like your wine from the wine cellar or something that's how their like storefront is set up bar stools and everything so maybe i have to request to see this but i love this this is not like super super strong or everything anything or like um beast mode or it doesn't last super long but i'm addicted to smelling it and as soon as i can't really smell it anymore i just spray it on myself again so that's why i want to buy a backup of this because i spray it so much for no reason sometimes when i wake up in the morning i haven't even showered yet i go and spray it so yeah i don't want to waste it because this is just a 30 mil this is not even a 50 mil is it yeah this is just the 30 mil the the difference with this is not just a marshmallow um fragrance it also has green notes in there like green tea and i just think it smells really really good really really good i like that contrast the green is almost like that fresh greenness that i get from flora botanica and then it has the like super potent like marshmallow note in there it's sweet enough without being over sweet i really like this fragrance the little green note in there it gives it character so I quite like it. The next thing that I have is... Oh, it's in the box here. I have this um, perfume from Jeremy Fragrance. I bought Day. I have the big bottle of Day in a 50ml size. Um, you know the bottles look like this. This is my 50ml in unisex. But I'm just showing you what the bottle looks like. Because I have not yet opened this one. I recently got this in a bundle deal. This is like a fruity kind of perfume. But it doesn't smell super it doesn't smell childish or anything if you guys were buying these perfumes from jeremy fragrance it's best to look at his bundle deals that he offers buying one of these perfumes um on its own is very expensive it's like 160 pounds or 160 something pounds it's ridiculous no this is not the one that i showed in my video when i done my jeremy fragrance review it was this this one is new if you want a more in-depth review of the fragrances you should just check out my in-depth review of the fragrances that i already done i did tell you guys that i actually was using it recently a lot 
I'm trying to get the sample size for you guys and this is what my sample size looks like so you can see that I've been using it and I like it and it lingers on the skin it does and on my clothes it's really really nice definitely a crowd pleaser maybe that's what he was going for to be safe because he's just coming out with his perfumes next thing that I added to my collection was this baby YSL lip oh look at that and look at that dark sexy juice jeez I literally fell in love with the bottle first but then when I smelled the original in the sample I didn't love it so I didn't buy it and then they came out with this version. This is um, a beautiful fragrance with orange flower. A lot of times orange flower bothers my nose and to me it's prominent in here but it doesn't bother me in there. But I also find that I don't over spray this. I can't like I don't want more than three sprays and that's so weird like to even say that out like Oh my gosh, my frag friend's gonna be laughing at me. Three sprays, like, what is that? Are you even wearing perfume? I can't, I can't do it too much orange flower, but I love this fragrance. So I wear it. I, I, for me, I'm afraid that it will give me a headache. I can't, I, yeah. And it lasts and you can smell it. So I don't want it, I don't want to smell this for too long. If I was gonna over spray, I'd probably spray where it's not close to my nose. So I would spray um, behind my knees or whatever. Anywhere that's not up here. But up here, the most I'm gonna be doing is three. And when I spray that third one, I get a little nervous. I'm not gonna lie. So yeah, obviously I can spray in between here and stuff so that when I'm walking, you know, I get whiffs of it, but it's not directly, you know, on my chest or on my clothes or anything. But yeah, I love this. I feel like this is a sexy nighttime fragrance, but I feel like it can also be a daytime like brunch or or a lunch date or something and even if you are going to an interview I would actually wear this not because it smells like an office fragrance or a professional kind of fragrance it's very classy and sexy at the same time but it's the classy side of it that that's why I would wear it to an interview because I feel like it smells luxe I like the fact that this borderlines sexy and um, classy as well because sometimes you have you know fragrances doing one or the other if they're really classy you don't really think of it as sexy or if it's really sexy and smells a little naughty you don't think of it as classy um, for example like Coco Mad, I don't find that sexy I find it very classy and which is obviously fitting for an interview and stuff as well but this I feel like you know if you wanted to wear this as well to um, an interview I I would wear this because it just it probably would make you feel confident and bougie and like whatever job you're going in to get you feel like you already have it because I mean you wore the fragrance this fragrance just makes you feel that way bossy I haven't obviously gotten to wear it or anything much except for going to bed because of this stupid lockdown that we go through I'm so you don't understand I'm tired of plucking my chin ears <laughs> Okay, and then the last fragrance that I have is Live by Jennifer Lopez. And this is an oldie, but a goodie. I'm going to tell you why I put that in quotations afterwards. Um, yeah, I used to have this and I actually bought two bottles of this before. This would be my third. But my second one, I actually didn't get to finish that because I brought it with me when I went out once. This was years ago. And used it and left it on the windowsill of where I was and they stole it and I'd like to tell you but I shouldn't tell you it was at church it was at church they stole it I went back in there and it was not there and they said they didn't see it and it was brand new like obviously I had worn it a few times but it was like a good full bottle for me this kind of reminds me of like um Paris Hilton's Paris Hilton which I really really love and I wear every Christmas like well I'll, I'm gonna start that tradition again because I used to wear it all the time so but it just reminds me of Christmas because I bought it during Christmas it just smells really good and I love smelling it and around the holidays like this Christmas pass I was wearing it so I will associate it to the Christmas period and this smells like that to me but then I smell a little bit of spice in there similar to like um oh gosh you know the the red it's not ginger it's a spicy candy and it's red so it's kind of sweet but it still got spice to it as if it was like ginger or cinnamon um, I don't love those candies by the way, but it kind of has that over the top of that sweetness And when I looked at the notes, it said that it was spicy violet I don't know what spicy violet is like what does that even mean? Like did they throw spice on top of the flower like I don't get it, but or did they like 
I don't know, or did they like cross breed, not breed, like, you know, when you try and make something from another thing and you put two things together so that it grows into a new plant, what do you call that word? Yeah, so this smells nice, I will wear it, I don't think I will repurchase it, um, I just blind bought it after years of like not having it i was like oh what does that smell like i really used to love it so let me just order it again to see if i would still love it and it's nice but i've grown up i love obviously other fragrances my nose has been exposed to so many other fragrances that this is just something that is like nice um and I'd probably wear it to bed or like I wore it running to the post office today and running to the supermarket I'll just wear it to run quick errands and I might keep the bottle because it's so cute but I I don't think I'll be repurchasing it but it's nice and the little spice gives it a little bit of kick or a little bit of character as I like to say um, on top of the sweetness instead of it being just you know just a fruity sweetness yeah it's not overbearing or overpowering and i think this would be totally fitting for gifting an gifting a like a 12 year old a 13 year old it's in the realm of like the escada perfumes and stuff like that you know the britney spears curious and it's those kind of perfumes so um it's nice i was actually looking for miami glow but we all know that that's discontinued so it's really hard to find i found some on ebay and people sell them for like a hundred and something pounds i'm like relax you're wicked they you're wicked okay that does just that's just you wicked like why okay let me, i'm going off on a tangent but um <laughs> they when you re, is you know say sit down sit down i'm really a deep so the people am wicked like why would you buy a perfume for cheap and then sell it for hundred and something pound i mean I, like i get it i i know why you're doing it but like you're wicked okay we don't need to say that no more, don't? No? Okay. <laughs> but yeah, so I love that. And these are my perfumes, guys. Those are all I bought recently. And as I said to you, I'm expecting a few more. But as soon as I get them, I will update you guys. And yeah. Hope you love this video. Hope you subscribe. Hope you stick sticked around well. Hope you stuck around till the end. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And I hope I see you in my other videos. I had so much planned for the new year with my content. Like, beginning my content. I want... <sighs> a perfume just dropped, but just a sample. I wanted to start off with a bang and like have like something different. You know, just to open up the new year and have like a continuation of that. But... That was my Tom Ford Lost Cherry. Wow. But I have a carpet underneath me, so it fell on the carpet and then slid off on the, on the concrete. Wow. Wow. Okay. Let me just hurry up and... Do you know what? How about I take these out of my lap? Because that must be the reason. Yeah, but um, just, just, a little, just a little rant since I have you guys here. I mean, what, might as well. Um, yeah, I'm stuck with Christmas nails. Love that for me. Filming! I'm working. <laughs> I'm working too. I get paid. Exactly. You like that's it? Oh no, I was telling you about my nails. I had to do my eyebrows today. I think one looks a little bit thicker than the other and a little bit bushy, but we're trying, okay? We're 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 working with what we got. I sound like a first world spoiled brat. I didn't get a laser appointment before lockdown because we had just come out of another lockdown. So I was like, oh we out again, I have time. And like we were out for a week. And we went straight back into lockdown again with like stronger restrictions. So two months strong. I wanted to end on a good note, but I'm I'm stressed. <laughs> this obviously makes me feel so much better and it relieves my stress. And this is why we buy perfumes. So thanks for stopping by once again, and I hope to see you in other videos. Take care.